Hello, welcome to Java Programming Tutorials, Chapter 6 Variables and Data Types, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. So, in this session, we are going to learn about what is variable and data type in Java. So, what is variable? Variable is a name of memory location. When we split the word variable, vary plus able, it means its value can be changed. In the sense, whatever we store in the variable, that value can be changed at any point of time. So in Java there are three types of variables, they are local variable, instance variable and static variable. So without wasting much time let me jump into uh, Eclipse and let me show you how to create a variable. Okay, and let me go back here to my, okay. So in the last session we learned like how to create a Java project, file, click on the file, new and select Java project and here I'm going to name the project as variable and data type okay this is my project and I'll click finish so to this project I need to add a class okay that is Java class so the class name I'm going to give it as demo okay, I'm going to add a main method to then I'll click finish so now you can observe very clearly we will get a class okay we will get a class by name demo and we have a main method here so let me align it properly so let me show you how to create a variable it's very simple so if you want to create a variable in Java okay you have to call a or you have to define a variable with the name whatever you wish so I'll, I'll take the variable name as okay uh, str or let me take it as Sam the variable is and I'll store the value in it the value is like uh, hello world but keep in mind whenever you create a variable okay the first thing what you have to do is you have to tell like what type of variable it is you have to tell the type of that variable so that's the reason we are getting error right now so what is that it's very simple let me jump back to presentation and let me jump here so data type so data type it represents the different values stored in the variable in Java we have two types of data types primitive and non primitive under primitive we get boolean and numeric under numeric we have integer and floating and under integer we have these types and this char and floating we have float and double and coming to non primitive we have class array interface string these things come under the non primitive and these set of things come under the primitive data type so in Java okay we have to before creating a variable before when you create a variable we have to tell like what type of variable it is so since this variable is also string so I need to tell this variable is of string type okay now you can observe very clearly okay now the error is gone now what I need to do is I need to just print it okay so how do I print it's very simple so let me create it first string sam is equal to hello world okay and just to start with this capital S and let me end up here so now let me print that by using system dot out dot print print ln so within that let me pass that variable sam now now what I need to do is I need to just click on this button to run so we will get the output as hello world as expected in the console you can observe here we are getting the output at the bottom okay so what we we learn here is it's very simple okay we learned like how to create a variable so if we create a variable in Java the thing is you need to tell the type of it okay so that's the reason that's the thing what I'm trying to do here suppose if I need to create an integer value so the variable name is D and I'll store 10 now I'll tell like system dot out print ln method okay then I'll print the D variable so this is the problem so again I'll run this application so now you can observe we will get the output as hello world and hello world and as well as it will print 10 so this is what you tell the type before you when you create a variable then you have to store the value in it then you have to print it so this is what about variables okay and now now 
let me go back here so as I said you in variables we have three types local variable instance variable and static variable local variable a variable which is declared inside the method I repeat a variable which is declared inside the method is called as local variable so all these methods are local variables so all these variables are local variables sorry Sam and D so coming back to presentation so instance variable variable which is declared inside the class but outside the method it's called as a instance variable okay I repeat a variable which is declared inside the class but outside the method is called as instance variable what is static variable a variable that, de that is declared as static is called a static variable in the sense whenever you declare a variable if you specify a static keyword that variable is called a static variable so apart from that we learn the data types and in the next slide we have the data type and what is the default value present in it and the size of that particular data type in the boolean the default value is false and the size is one bit the car this is the default value and it's two byte byte zero and it's one byte short the default value is zero and it's two byte similarly for float it is 0.0f it's 4 byte and double it's 8 byte so this chart or this table represents you or gives you a complete detail about data type with the default value as well as the default size of it so what we learned in this session again let me recall so you learned like what is variable and how to create a variable we saw in it we saw that in our eclipse like we created a project java project then we added a java class then we learned about it and we also learned the types of data type in java and also the data type with the default value and the default size this is what we learned right now so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Anchor Training. you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference of our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day